Division patterns of the abdomen. The abdomen can be divided using two patterns. The first one is the four quadrant pattern. This is what you see now. Or can be divided into nine region pattern. As you can see, the abdomen divided into four quadrants using two lines. One is a vertical line and another horizontal line. The vertical line is located in the midline of the body and it's called median plane. Take care, median, not medial. Median, it means in the midline. In the midline of their body, in the midline of the organ, it doesn't matter. But the median plane divides the organ or the body into two equal halves. This line is crossed by another horizontal line that crosses through the umbilicus. That's why this line or this plane known as trans umbilical plane. By these two lines or planes the abdomen is divided as you see into four quadrants before talking about quadrants let me just remember you that this is the umbilicus and it's located at the level of intervertebral disc between the third and fourth lumbar vertebrae in the back. It's a useful anatomical landmark. So umbilicus located between at the level of intervertebral disc between L3 and L4. Now the four quadrants are two on the right and to the left. The first one is the right upper quadrant. Right because you know this is the right side of the body. And it's upper because it's above the trans umbilical plane. On the other hand, there is right lower quadrant. It's right because it's on the right side again. And lower because it's below the trans umbilical plane. Similarly, on the left side, there is left upper and left lower. This division and also the nine region patterns as well help to localize different abdominal organs. For example, this is the gallbladder. This is the fundus of gallbladder. It's located in the right upper quadrant. In the right lower quadrant, you will find the cecum and the appendix. The left side, for example, you will find in the you will find sigmoid colon in the left lower quadrant. Another way to divide the abdomen is using nine region pattern in which in this case the abdomen would be divided into nine regions. 
using two horizontal lines and two vertical lines well it's easy to remember those uh, vertical lines and we call them midclavicular lines or midclavicular planes because they start from the midpoint of clavicle you know this is the clavicle bone on the left or on the right so in the midpoint of clavicle all the way down and it crosses mid the point also between the anterior superior iliac spine and symphysis pubis you know this region from anterior superior iliac spine to the symphysis pubis the midway is this point so this midclavicular plane passes from the midpoint of the clavicle down all the way to the midpoint between anterior superior iliac spine and symphysis pubis so we have two now what about the horizontal planes the first one which is easily you can palpate it, palpate it just go inferior to the costal margin this is the costal margin so this plane passes inferior to the costal margins either on the right or in the left indeed it's at the level of L3 lumbar vertebra number three this is the first one so remember the costal margins the inferior border of costal margin okay the other one which is passes between the uh, tubercles of the iliac um, uh, crest this is the iliac crest you know this is the bone idiom this is the idiom or iliac bone and this is the tubercles of the iliac crest how can i know how can i locate the iliac crest just from anterior superior iliac spine which is easily you can palpate it just five centimeters go posteriorly you will reach to the uh, tubercle of the iliac crest so the intertubricular plane because it's between two tubercles of the iliac crest that's why it's called intertubricular plane located at the level of l5 so let us remember that we have four planes two passes through the uh, 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 mid of clavicles that way we call them midclavicular planes and two horizontals one at the inferior border of or inferior to the costal margin and another one between two tubercles of the iliac crest okay so the two horizontal planes either the subcostal plane or the intertubercular tubercular plane both located at the level of L3 and L5 okay so by this way we have nine regions in the three in the middle three laterally on the right and three laterally on the left started from the regions in the middle the most superior one is called ibigastric region ibigastric region because you know this is the stomach there so that's why it's called ibigastric region the middle one which is easy to remember it there is the you, you know this is the umbilicus i can you know i think you can see it so this region is called umbilical region don't forget it inferiorly which is close to the pubic bone this region is called pubic region so three in the middle epigastric umbilical and pubic region go to the right 
there is a right hypochondria. Below it, there is a right flank. Sometimes they call it lateral region, or you can say right flank. And inferiorly, there is right groin, or you can, you know, call it inguinal region. Mostly, you know, clinically, they prefer to use inguinal region because of the inguinal rings and canal. On the left side, the same, but instead of right hypochondrium, we say left hypochondrium because it's the left side and lift the flank or lateral region and lift inguinal region or lift the groin. Still we are talking about nine region pattern that divides the abdomen into nine regions. But I want to say that some clinicians prefer to use different horizontal planes. I think you remember from the previous slide that we have subcostal plane that located just inferior to the costal margin. Of course, I think you remember it. This is the was subcostal plane. And there was another plane that's located at the level of tubercles of the iliac crest at this plane. It's called intertubercular plane. But as I mentioned earlier, clinicians sometimes prefer to use transpyloric plane instead of subcostal plane and they prefer to use interspinous plane instead of intertubercular plane. Interspinous plane is located at the level of anterior superior iliac spine, which is easily you can palpate it if you put your hand on the highest part of your iliac bone and go all the way to the front until the end of the bone you will feel this protruded bone which is very important anatomical landmark it's called anterior superior iliac spine either in the left or in the right so this is the interspinous plane the other important plane which is a transpyloric plane which is located at the level of L1, lumbar vertebra number one. Uh, this plane also located at level of different structures. We'll talk about it in another video. But you can say, okay, transpyloric plane, how can I locate this plane? Well, there are two ways to locate this plane. The first one is to take the midpoint between the jugular notch, also you can feel it and palpate it, from the jugular, take the midpoint from jugular notch to the symphysis pubis. I think the midpoint from between these two points will be here. So this is the transpyloric plane. Or if you find it long and you want to take a shorter way, you can take also the midpoint between the inferior part of sternum, this is the sternum, right? The inferior part of the sternum to the umbilicus. This is the umbilicus. So midpoint will be again at the transpyloric plane. 